This is a, an experiment in which one can study the effect of plane mirrors in producing single and multiple reflections of a light source. One can usually in this film identify which is the uh, source by the fact that you can see the wires from the source, but only the light from the reflections. Um, and the problem is to find out how many images there are for a variety of mirror angles and to identify how the images are formed. For example, if I set this at some angle say, slightly greater than 90 degrees and then look in, uh, first while I'm looking like this, I might show what one can do. One can move the bulb in and out by making this adjustment. One can get it close to the mirrors this way or by swinging it. Um, and one can change the height uh, till it's convenient. Um, one can read the angles um, of the mirror here, and you will notice that the, these are front surface mirrors, so that it isn't this aluminum edge which, on which, by which you want to read the angle, but it is the actual front surface of the mirror uh, which you want to read off here. So now it's slightly greater than 90 degrees, and if I look in, I have to decide how many different images there are, and so far I only see two. Let's see what those are. This one is a reflection of the light in this mirror. I can tell that by seeing where I have to put a piece of paper to blank it off. This is a reflection of the light in that mirror. And again, I can blank it off by putting my piece of cardboard right over in front of that mirror at that point. Um, but are there any other images here? Well, I may have to look around. There's one that I see. Uh, and I have difficulty seeing all three at once. Of course, if I bring this in a little further, maybe I can move that in closer and now look in again. And now I can see, um, can I see all three images? i look around. It's hard to see all three at once, but I can only see, now I can see all three of the images at once. By moving my head around, let me move this out again and see what happens. So by studying, um, in order to get the number of, total number of images, I may have to move the light around um, or my eye around and want to keep track of what I'm doing. And there's no way I can now do anything which gives me more than those three images. Um, now suppose I move to exactly 90 degrees, that's it. I set that there, and I'll set this one at exactly zero. And I look in again. Uh, let's look in. I again see my three images. I can move this around and look in as close as I want along the mirror. And again, I see nothing more than those three images uh, at best. And I can identify what they are. Because I notice that this third image, that is this one that occurs back here, is due not to a direct reflection in the mirror, but it's due to a reflection of the virtual image of this virtual image. It's due to a reflection of that in this mirror. So if I um, put something in front of the mirror at this point, I get rid of that particular image, even though I'm looking into the other mirror. Um, now, if I bring this, notice I have an image in there. Now let me move these ever so slightly, less than 90 degrees. And notice, just like that, and notice that the two images which were one have split into two, so that instead of the three images which I had by looking in at different angles, I now see four images. But I wonder whether at this angle that's the only image I can see. Well, it seems to be. But now let me show you that if I put this one very close to this mirror, put it right up touching it, of course, being careful not to scratch it. Again, I just see the four images. But if I look in here, I now see, and look right along the mirror, I see one, two, three, four, five reflections. So that actually, at this angle, the total number of reflections would be five. In doing this for a variety of angles, then, one wants to try out different positions of the bulb and different positions of your eye. and in, try and identify and count all the images, and the problem gets quite complicated. When you get to smaller angles, let's look in for a minute. If I put this to a fairly small angle, 
and then put this over near one mirror like that, and then start counting the images. You notice I have easily countable one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine uh, images on this position, and I may well have missed some. So to identify what each of those are, one can use the cards, and one can uh, try and see how they come about, and one can move this around to see what makes some of them come in or disappear, and also move your eye about as you look in the mirror. This then is the experiment, and it gives a, it's sort of a game, but it gives some insight into the production of multiple images. That's all.